Before you get started, make sure you unplug the machine. First thing is to remove the top cover, and you can loosen those two screws and rotate the hinges to remove the cover completely. And then there are two screws on the inside. You can only see me removing one here because the previous owner had already removed the other one. Next, go around the base and unscrew all the screws that are securing the heat shield onto the base. And then you can unscrew all the screws holding the gray plastic piece um, to the surround. Next, you can remove the electronics panel. There are three screws holding that in place. And then you can lift all of that out. Once that heat shield is removed, you'll have access to all the screws that hold the, the base down to the plastic of the bottom of the machine. Once the base is disconnected, um, you can unscrew the ground wire from the, the enclosure. Just make sure you reattach it at the end. As you can see, this belt was completely shredded. It had left little bits of teeth stuck in the grooves, and so I wanted to clear all that out. Be careful of the sheet metal because it has pretty sharp edges. Here's the new belt. In order to mount the belt, I first slipped the belt completely over the large wheel and then fit it on the teeth of the small wheel and then slipped it up partially onto the big wheel and then rotated the big wheel so that it would uh, feed all the way up. Once the belt is mounted, then you can start the reassembly, put the base back in, screw it all down. Don't forget to reattach the ground. The little sheet metal tabs are sandwiched in between the black plastic and the gray plastic. The gray plastic, of course, goes on top. You might need to hold the black plastic up from the bottom in order to get the first few screws started, um, but once you start going around, it, it holds itself up. Then you can secure the heat shield back to the base. Don't forget to reattach the heating coil and the, the screw opposite of that. Then you can replace the electronics board and the lid. Secure the hinges and give it a try.